Hello! Well, the weather is very unstable here today, so I better make this intro very quick. Now, this is a Moringa review. Research tells me that Moringa actually has a compound called Moringin. And that Moringin has powerful anti-inflammatory properties, as well as antioxidant properties. And you guys have been asking me to actually review this Moringa product, and now I have done so. What I have done here is use the product over a seven day period and video blog every day for seven days. I wasn't sure whether I should publish all the videos in installments over a seven day period or to lump it together as one. So in the end, I have decided to lump all the videos together as one. Hence the length of this video. And I apologize for that because I felt if I release them in installments, there'll be lots of continuity. So what are you gonna learn in this Moringa review? Well, you're gonna find out how Moringa affects your energy levels, whether Moringa actually affects your mood, uh, whether Moringa has any effect on your sleep, whether Moringa contains caffeine, uh, how Moringa affects your appetite, and how Moringa affects your blood pressure. And indeed, if you're somebody who's got high blood pressure, I want you to pay attention to what I did on day five and day seven. You may want to take a cue from that. I should also apologize for day three audio. The audio quality wasn't very good because I shot the video on my cell phone. So apologies for that as well. So all of that is what's coming up. You stay tuned. I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Now for today's 2020 idea to better health, please welcome on stage, Dr. Joe. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Joe of the drjoe.com. Now, if this is your first time on this channel, can I extend a warm welcome to you? This is your home of 2020 Ideas to Better Health. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. And also, please do not forget to click on the notification bell because that's how you get notified of future videos that I make. So, I've been getting a lot of requests from you folks. You wanted me to find out about a new product that is sweeping the internet. Uh, the product is called Moringa. Yes, Moringa. I thought, well, the best way to go about it would be for me to actually test drive the product myself, and that way I can give a considered opinion uh, about it. So here we are. Uh, what I have done uh, in pursuit of this is to actually get a product from a popular retailer. This is the product here. I got uh, two of the products. One is the powder. So I'm just going to open it. I paid for this product myself. Uh, I haven't been supplied it by the retailer. So here we go. I'm just going to rip them open now. That way I can give an unbiased opinion about them. So this is the tea, uh, this is a tea, Moringa infusion tea, as you can see there. So that's the tea. Not only that, I didn't just get a tea, I also got the powder. So rip it open, as you can see here. So here is the powder. That's the powder there, as you can tell. Uh, so today, uh, I'm gonna today's gonna be day one of the test driving uh, So I'm gonna use the powder today. Okay, so let me rip it open It looks like it's in a resealable bag. Yeah, it is resealable So that's it there Rip this open as well one of the things that's been claimed by the uh, retailers as well as the manufacturers I should say is that Moringa actually has the essential fatty acids. So we're talking about omega-3, omega-6, and omega-9. And they also talked about the fact that it's got all the essential amino acids that we need, and it's got uh, minerals as well, in particular potassium, which is good. I always love that, products with lots of potassium. That's very good for high blood pressure. And as you know, lately I've been talking a lot about fiber. So I'm looking at the nutritional information here and it says uh, the fiber content for this is about 27%. So in a hundred grams of this Moringa powder, you have about 27.1 grams of fiber. That's fantastic. I love that. It's also got vitamins A, C and uh, calcium as well. So this is all good. So the first thing I'm gonna to do today is uh, use the Moringa powder, okay? I've got oatmeal that I've just prepared earlier on. So this is oatmeal here. So one way you can use the Moringa is to add it to something like your oatmeal. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Uh, they usually recommend about a spoonful. As you can tell, it's green uh, because it's made from the leaves. So I'm just gonna add a spoonful here. This is the oatmeal uh, made from rolled oats. I'm using rolled oats today. So usually I talk about two teaspoonfuls. So this is just a spoonful. Maybe I should add 
another half of this and go crazy with it. <laughs> so I'm gonna mix it together, a tablespoonful and half. That's what we've got here now. So this is Moringa oatmeal. That's what we're gonna call this, Moringa oatmeal. So let's um, have a taste. I'll just stir it and see how this goes. Um, I'm excited actually about this. <laughs> Never been excited about porridge in my life. So let's go. Let's see what it tastes like. It tastes a bit herbal, as you would expect, but it's not sharp. The taste is not sharp. It's a bit neutral. That's the way I would describe it. Today is day one, uh, and I'll let you know what the outcome is uh, by the end of the day. Um, so uh, what's happened so far? Now the first thing I would say is I haven't had any upset stomach because when you take something powdery a herbal product you wonder whether it's going to upset your uh, gastrointestinal tract so far and uh, nothing like that no upset stomach i don't feel sick and i haven't had a run so far it's about eight hours since i had it so i don't know whether it's going to happen later on but so far nothing i have no side effects to report so far okay day one um what else I felt really calm today. Um, I'm not usually a boisterous person, but um, uh, although some of you might disagree, <laughs> uh, but um, no, I've been calm. Uh, and bearing in mind, I've done something really stressful in the last two hours. Um, I'm still uh, incredibly calm. So yeah, Moringa seems to be working from that point of view. So uh, talking about being calm, let's see what my blood pressure is, okay? Day one. So bearing in mind I've been doing something stressful in the last two hours, let's see what my blood pressure is like. Okay, so here we go. Uh, 128 over 76. Okay, 128 over 76. Uh, that's not bad at all. Okay, so this is day one. We'll see what day two has in store for us uh, tomorrow. So, uh, welcome back. Today is day two of the Moringa test drive. Yes, uh, we're still testing the Moringa powder. Uh, so, what we're going to do today is uh, Moringa latte. That's what I'm going to test the Moringa on today. Moringa latte. So, what do we need for the latte? We just need four ingredients. Uh, we're going to need milk. Okay. Now, I've got a plant-based milk here. That's what I use. Uh, that is Alpro uh, plant-based milk. This is oat milk. Uh, we're going to need a bit of ginger. This is fresh ginger. Okay. Some pieces of ginger, just a small slice from this one here. Okay. So that's fresh ginger. Um, and I'm going to need, of course, we're going to need the Moringa powder. Okay. Gonna need the moringa powder, and then of course we need just a little bit of a sweetener, just a drizzle of honey, just a drizzle. You don't have to bathe it with uh, so much honey because don't forget honey actually has sugar in it as well. So uh, the milk I've warmed it; it's a little bit warm uh, because I found out that the moringa powder doesn't dissolve very well in uh, cold milk. So let's uh, start preparing the latte. So you're just gonna pour the milk into. Uh, a little cup here. I'm going to add the pieces of the ginger. Um, a little bit of, like I said, just a drizzle of honey. Okay, you don't need to uh, flood it. Actually, let me put it directly there. That's it. You don't need more than that. Of course, we're going to need the moringa powder. So, uh, two, no, just one tablespoon of the moringa powder 
okay so just one tablespoon next now we're gonna blitz it yeah blitz we're gonna do so off it goes onto the uh, nutri bullet That's it. So I think we're ready. If I can open it. <laughs> so there we go. Here is our Moringa Latte. Ready to be served. Pour into the cup. And that's it, it's ready. So I'll have a taste. Because I added a bit of ginger, that's giving it a little bit of a kick. It's got a spiciness to it, um, but it tastes good, uh, like any herbal latte. So yeah, I'm gonna drink this, and then uh, I'll, I'll tell you later in the evening how it goes, okay? So day two, uh, as you recall, I had the Moringa latte this morning. Uh, so what happened? Oh, before I continue, let me just say this. I had a very good night's sleep last night. Uh, I don't usually have problems falling asleep, as you know. I'm obsessed with having good sleep because that's good for my blood pressure control. And uh, I can confirm that I had a good night's sleep. So that's good. Uh, it tells me the uh, product, the Moringa, hasn't got caffeine in it. Just to corroborate that as well, I can also confirm that the whole of today, day two, that I had the Moringa Latte today, um, I, I haven't felt nervous or jittery or had the shakes. So that also tells me that Moringa has got uh, caffeine in it. So that's good. The only thing I discovered today was that after I had the Moringa Latte this morning, uh, one hour later, I was very hungry. Oh my God, I was really, really hungry. So uh, it stimulated hunger, and I'm not sure why, whether it's the Moringa or whether it's the fact that I had ginger in it, I have no idea. And there's no way I can actually decide on what actually caused the hunger. But that's one downside uh, in the sense that if you have the latte, there's a good chance you could actually uh, stimulate hunger so uh that you could say that's a downside so uh that's been today's report uh so let's see what my blood pressure is like today okay uh let's just let's just check Okay, so here we go, what we got? 125 over 85, that's what we got today. 125 over 85, okay? So that's not bad, okay? It's not perfect, but it's okay. Um, so we got 125 over 85 at the end of day two. Um, so that's it for day two. Uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow, day three. See you then. So today is day three of the Moringa test and uh, I'm away from home. So uh, I'm in my little man cave here at work. So because of that, I cannot do any extensive recipe. So I'm using the Moringa tea today. Okay. Um, so the tea is probably easier for me to use here at work. Um, I've had a cup this morning. It's about midday now. And um, this is the tea here. So I'm having another cup. Uh, this uh, afternoon. So I'm just gonna have a, a little sip here And then uh, Later tonight, I'll give you a feedback as to how I feel day three uh, Using the Moringa tea. Okay, so see you then. So day three uh, I had the Moringa tea this morning uh, As well as this afternoon as you saw earlier on. So I had it twice today um, something happened the first hour after I drank it this morning. Um, I felt a little bit warm and fuzzy in a good way. Um, I don't know whether because I was uh, rushing to get to theater this morning 
or um, whether it's actually the T that was responsible. So I'm going to corroborate that tomorrow and I'll let you know whether that's still the case. Something has happened which I will also talk about tomorrow. I just want to see whether the effect is still the same every time you take it. Okay, so this is the T. So um, let's see what my blood pressure is uh, going to be like on day three. Okay, so day three brings us 127 over 83. 127 over 83. Okay, um, not bad. Um, you know, for day three, this is on Moringa tea. So this is day three. Um, I'll take that. Um, so we'll see what day four brings tomorrow. So today is day four of the Moringa test drive. And so what did I use today? Well, I used the Moringa tea and um, I had two cups today, one in the morning and another one in the afternoon. The one of the morning I had it on an empty stomach and uh, I can confirm that Moringa, at least the tea anyway, does give um, a bounce because when I was in theater yesterday, my theater nurses, they noticed that there was a kind of um, a spark, an extra spark about me yesterday. And uh, I did tell them I was test driving something, a tea, and uh, they were asking, they want some of it. <laughs> so girls, if you want some of it, the link is going to be down there. Um, when you watch this video, you can go get it if you want it. Um, so yeah, it does give a bounce and a spark, the, the Moringa tea. That's the main report for today. Um, so let's see what the blood pressure reading is going to be like today. So what we've got here, we've got 123 over 71. 123 over 71. Okay. So that's not bad for day four. Okay. So um, we'll see what the five brings tomorrow so today is day five of the moringa test drive and uh, what we're doing today well, we're gonna have salad we're gonna have a vegetable salad today and um, of course we're gonna add the moringa powder i've just made this salad dressing here uh, this is a nice sweet and sad you know salad dressing this uh, the recipe for this salad is going to be in the wellness forum amongst others uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to add the moringa powder to the salad dressing and then of course we add the dressing to the salad okay so it's a simple vegetable salad and um, we will add the dressing onto the salad. So, of course, this is the Moringa powder. So, we're using the powder today. In the last two days, I've used the Moringa tea, but today is gonna be the powder. So, I'm just gonna add about a teaspoon, probably, and half of the Moringa powder to the salad, uh, to the dressing first, first of all. Uh, so that's one spoon and then another half goes in there So now we're going to blitz it together in the dressing And then we're going to uh, so of course the, the dressing is going to change color shortly <laughs> salad dressing has turned green in color <laughs> so that's the salad dressing now so we're going to pour that onto the dressing uh, the uh, salad sorry and uh, mix it together it's going to give the salad a very nice beautiful taste that's it is already mixed together mm. really love it so I'll talk to you later in the evening and I'll tell you how I feel about the Moringa powder today okay so day five of the Moringa test drive um, you recall I had the vegetable salad today 
along with the dressing, the Moringa dressing. Um, yes, it's been a good day. Um, I've had a lot of energy. Um, bearing in mind, of course, I had some vegetables as well. Uh, so vegetables are always good for you. Uh, along with the moringa so um, I had a very nice energy boost today I went for a one and a half hour walk um, brisk walk so um, yeah it's been a good day and my mood's been very great so I think so far the experiment is working let's see what my blood pressure is gonna be like today okay Okay, so here we go. Uh, today, day five, 10670. 10670. Okay, that's not bad for day five, 10670. So um, we'll see what day six brings. So see you tomorrow. Today is day six of our Moringa test drive. And uh, what we're going to do today, we're going to have a smoothie. Uh, and it's basically a fruit smoothie. Okay, so what have I got in here? I've got beetroot, I've got banana, I've got blueberries, and I've got strawberries. So B B B S smoothie. <laughs> That's what we're gonna call it. B B B S uh, smoothie. So, uh, and of course, it's gonna be a riot of colors here. Uh, <laughs> we'll see what the color turns out to be. So, what we're gonna do uh, to just do the smoothie. I'm going to add the uh, Moringa powder, so we're using Moringa powder today, so I'm going to add the Moringa powder to the smoothie, um, so that goes in there, that's a spoonful there, eh? I'll add another half, another half, okay, so that's the Moringa powder, next just add some milk, okay, and then we blitz. So that's it there. Close it, and then off it goes <coughs> onto the uh, Nutribullet. So we'll blitz. Excellent. So there we are. This is our smoothie. So it's turned out to more red than anything else. <laughs> so if we open it. So this is our Moringa smoothie. Of course there's more to it. Uh, so just pour into the cup. And then we drink. What does it taste like? One word, delicious, <laughs> delicious. So that's it. Uh, so in the evening, I'm gonna tell you how the day went. So day six report of the Moringa test drive. Um, it's been a good day so far as well. And I think today will be a good day to report that so far, for the six days that I've been using the Moringa now, I have not experienced any side effects. Okay, so I felt I needed to report that today. So no side effects. Uh, what else? Well, essentially it's been the same theme. Uh, I've had lots of energy. Of course, bearing in mind today, I had a fruit smoothie and in that fruit smoothie, you know, there are lots of nutrients at play. So uh, probably everything that I felt today is not attributable to the Moringa. I felt I should point that out because I had beetroot there, I had blueberries, I had banana, I had strawberries. So uh, they also have contributed to the way I feel today. So it's been a very good day. Um, I have also had lots of mental clarity uh, since I've been using the product. Whether it's due to the Moringa alone is difficult to say, but um, that also continued today, okay? So um, it's been um, a very good experience so far. 
So, uh, so that's the six. So let's see what my blood pressure is going to be like today. Okay, so we'll go here. We got 124. 120.74. Okay, so that's day six, blood pressure reading. We see what day seven brings. So day seven of the Moringa test drive. Uh, this is the last day and uh, I have to say, I haven't got a lot to report today. It's been a good day so far. I've just been on a one and a half hour walk. Uh, so I'm just going to give summary, but before then, let's just check my blood pressure today on day seven. So what we've got here, we've got 111 over 64, 111 over 64. Now to the summary, I have used, uh, the product now, the Moringa herbal remedy for the last seven days and I have to say I've had a very positive experience with it I've used both the Moringa powder and the Moringa tea these are the two products that I've used in the last seven days uh, does it matter which one you choose um, not really I have had positive experiences with both um, did I experience any side effects with both products no I didn't uh, do these products affect sleep negatively? No, they don't. Do these products affect mood negatively? No, they don't. Uh, do they boost energy? Yes, they do actually. Um, I think I had a nice energy boost with them. Now, something else that I need to add. I have used both products, but I haven't used them exclusively in the sense that um, I do other things as well. So for instance, I do exercise daily. Uh, tonight, I've just been on a one and a half hour walk. Um, I mean, so, you know, exercise is part and parcel of the deal and I also eat healthily. So, um, yeah, all of those will contribute to the results that I got. So will you have the same results as I did in the last seven days? Probably. Uh, but of course, uh, results do vary. Uh, you have to actually put some extra work in. I always say that herbal remedies should be part of a wider strategy to managing your health, uh, inclusive of your blood pressure. And at this point, I should answer the question, do these products, the Moringa tea and the Moringa powder actually help blood pressure? Well, from my experience, they do. Uh, as you can see, in the last seven days, I've been checking my blood pressure every day. I've had some fantastic blood pressure readings. And of course, you should take a cue from some of the strategies that I used on day five and day seven. So um, on a scale of one to 10, how much do I like the product? Well, I'll say an eight. Yes, an eight. Uh, that's how much I've actually enjoyed using the product. So um, I think to all intents and purposes, uh, Moringa is a nice product. I will recommend it. Uh, I'm going to leave links down below if you want to get your hands on it. Uh, links are going to be down there, okay? Uh, now, if you got some value from this video, as usual, give it a thumbs up, please. Uh, and also, do share this video with anybody whom you think will benefit from uh, watching it. Um, so, uh, if you've got any comments to make, uh, please make them down there. Okay, as usual. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Um, I think that's about it. Until next time, uh, this is Dr. Joe signing out.